I'm Callie with Adventure Rig, and today I'm wearing the Spindrift goggles made by Native. Now these are classified as a medium to large goggle on Native's website, and I feel like I took a little bit of a chance going for that big goggle size. I have a small to medium sized face, and these do feel a little bit big on my face. I think that the way they fit my face, they sit a little bit higher up than they should, which is okay, but I do feel like I can see a bit of the goggle down here. Now up and around here, I can't see anything, which is really nice. And also I have a really great wide view, so I can really see a lot of what's going on and not be focusing on the frame around my eyes. These goggles work real well with my helmet, and you can see that just the shape of the goggle doesn't make them line up weird with my helmet brim or anything like that. I also really like this blackjack color with the dark lens. I think it's a sweet look and it's gonna be perfect for those really sunny days. Now, the nice thing about these goggles is that they come with an extra lens. So on those not so sunny days, you're gonna be covered with this low light lens. This amber lens is really gonna help on those flat light days. It's gonna pull contrast and lines out for you and help you see when there's no light to be had, which can be really frustrating. It's great that they included this with these goggles. As you can see, Native also includes a soft case with an interior microfiber cloth, really nice for wiping the goggles down, and this hard case. Now Tyson and I can't say enough good things about this hard case because we just throw, we kind of throw all of our ski stuff together in soft bags, and so nothing is very protected. With this hard case, our goggles are gonna be protected, and when you pay a lot of money for a nice pair of goggles, it's really nice that they're including this with the goggles. Now, moving on to how you change out the lenses, I will have to say, this is not my favorite lens change system. Tyson has recently been wearing the Drop Zone goggles by Native, and those are super awesome. I'm a little bit jealous of them. All you have to do to change the lenses is push a button and you've got them out. With these, however, you pull six tabs, and I have very sensitive fingers, but the way the tabs are, they just are kind of hard to get pulled open, and they're, I just feel like the tabs are a little bit small, and so it's really pinches on my fingers. Tyson will tell you that if my hands are frozen in the morning before a pow day, it doesn't make me the most happy person in the world. And so if I pull up to the ski resort, it's already cold and snowing out, my hands are frozen, these are not gonna be super fun to change the lenses out. I feel like it's a bit of a trade-off. Either you get a framed goggle with an easy change lens system or a frameless goggle with kind of a little bit more challenging of a lens change system. So it is a trade-off. It just depends on what you prefer. For me, I don't especially love these little tabs. They just kind of hurt my sensitive fingers. Another thing that Native is doing is they're trying to help combat the issue of fog lenses. So what they do is they actually coat the inside of their lenses with an anti-fog coating. While I do feel like this helps keep the fogging problem down, what it does is it prevents you from being able to wipe the inside of your lenses if your goggles are wet. So when I fall on a pow day, if my goggles get any kind of snow inside of them, which is not the most uncommon occurrence, I can't wipe out the snow that's in the goggles. What makes this even worse is if it's really cold out, then the wet snow inside the goggles is just gonna freeze to that interior lens and you're not gonna be able to see anything. This can be really, really frustrating, especially if the snow's good and you wanna be skiing, you're gonna be waiting on your goggles to clear up. If you do wipe the lens when the lenses are wet, you will scratch them horribly. So definitely keep that in mind if you are wearing a pair of native goggles. I feel like these goggles are adequately vented and it's nice to get a little bit of airflow through there. However, you don't feel like your face is gonna freeze when you're going down the slope because there's so much venting going through the cold air is coming through to your face. Another thing that I really like about these is that the face foam is very soft and comfortable and it's actually hypoallergenic as well. So if you have any issues with that, they've taken that into consideration. The nose piece is nice and wide and so I don't feel like my nose circulation and breathing is getting cut off by that at all and it's a nice comfortable fit on my face. If you're looking for a medium to large frame, I would definitely check out the Spindrift by Native. They come with an interchangeable lens and that awesome Native hard case. Tyson's done a review recently on the Drop Zone goggles, which are a little bit smaller framed 
goggle and they do have that quick and easy lens change system so check out that review as well if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you also if you're wondering what we're up to or where we are check us out on instagram and facebook at adventure rig thanks again for watching i'm callie with adventure rig